Hi, I'm Jules, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a um, really wonderful Indian curry, a chicken vindaloo. So it's actually, um, a lot of people have been asking me, uh, Jules, you know, five ingredients, do you really cook with five ingredients all the time? And I know it sounds like a lot, but I actually, you know, I do, but you know, a lot of people say to me, well, you know, I cook a lot of Indian food, and, and the way I get around that is, um, you know, kind of, if, if there's an ingredient like a curry paste that you can buy in a shop, you know, as a, as a normal ingredient, I, I don't have a problem with actually making my own five ingredient curry paste and then using that as one of the ingredients in the curry. So that's what we're doing here. And um, so, yeah, it's it's super simple, you know, just mix up the curry, puree up the curry paste, I'm going to brown some chicken, get them out, and then I'm going to fry the curry paste, um, get some tomatoes in, get some chili in, um, chicken back in, and you know, it's, it's a really wonderful curry. It's actually the best curry I've ever made. I'm really excited about it. So if you love your Indian cooking, this is a great, great recipe. And you know, if you're vegetarian, you don't have to use chicken. You can use chickpeas or um, you know, lentils would be great, or even vegetables. You know, if you go some mixed veg or um, spinach would be great in, in it as well. Like the Indians love their spinach. So yeah, you know, there's heaps of options. It's just a great kind of starting base recipe. So we'll hop into the. I'm going to get my pan on to heat just while I've chopped this final chicken breast. I've chopped up one already. And the secret to chopping chicken breast is to, to take your breast and then chop it into kind of strips about an inch wide, so two and a half centimeters, and then turn it on its side. And you can see, you'll be able to see the, the muscle fibers. You want to cut across the muscle fibers as thinly as you can. So um, it's kind of like, like that. So you, you get pieces of chicken about that big. So they're going to cook really quickly, which is great, um, and it's also tenderizing the meat. Tenderizing the meat. So there's two ways to get your kind of you know, lovely tender meat in the curry. You can either simmer it for hours, or just cook it, cook the meat really quickly until it's just cooked through, and then um, and then pull it out and, and add it back in at the end. So you know, cook it over a high heat, stir fry it. So that's what we're going to do today with our chicken vindaloo. So okay, so our pans. <laughs> Nice and hot. So I'm going to put some peanut oil in. I like to fry with peanut oil because it has a high smoking point, but um, you know, whatever oil you like to cook. I'm using quite a bit of oil because my pan's not very non-stick. As you can see, it's quite stained and old. Get anyway. the, the chicken in. And you can, what you want to do is you want to keep the chicken moving around the pan. And don't, don't ever let it get stuck on the bottom because it tends to do it with pan. But that's just going to cook into the sauce and give you more flavour. You can see, you know, chicken's turning white, cooking really quickly. It's exactly what we want. Um, the better colour your chicken is, the less likely it's going to have moisture coming out of it. So some commercial chicken gets kind of pumped full of brine, and when you cook it, it comes out into the into the pan. This seems to be pretty good. So just keep it moving. It's only going to take a couple of minutes. Okay, so that looks great. So can't see any pink bits in the chicken anymore, everything's white, so I'm going to just scoop it out and keep it aside. So you could use a commercial curry paste if you wanted to. So I'm just going to scrape it up and I'm going to just fry it for a couple of, maybe 30 seconds because the pan's so hot. It smells, it smells really wonderful. Okay, so that'll have to do for now. I'm just going to get this frying so that the um, garlic and onion starts to, to cook and the, the spices get a, get a bit toasted, but you don't want to over... If you fry it too much here, it can go bitter. So that's probably enough since our pan's quite hot. And sm you know, when it smells beautiful like that, it's a good time to stop. So we'll get our tomatoes in. And our chili. So I've just got four green chilies that I've kind of finely sliced. They can go in. And I'm leaving the seeds in because I like it hot, but you know, if you, you prefer a milder curry, less seeds, no seeds, you know, it's up to you. Less chilies. <laughs> you know, there's, heaps, there's heaps of options here. Cooking with chili is quite, quite an art form, and every chili is different, so it's it can be difficult to judge even sometimes, but you can always add more chili at the end if it's if it's not hot enough for you, or it's it's hard to get the curry to cool down. And yeah, you know, if you're cooking for different people with different taste buds, it's nice to you can add serve a bit of dried chili or chili powder on on the side at the table so they can help themselves, and you're not going to alienate the people with sensitive taste buds. 
So we're just going to let this simmer and reduce down. I'm just breaking the tomatoes up. You could use crushed tomatoes if you wanted to. But yeah, it looks amazing. I love the, you know, it's got the red. It's kind of going a bit brown, nice curry color. Yum. It's been simmering for, I don't know, three or four minutes. It started to, it's just reduced down a little bit. I've got all the tomato chunks out. You know, I've crushed them all up. So I think this looks amazing. I mean, if I do say so myself. It's tasting really, really lovely, actually. It's really fragrant. It's got quite a kick to it from the chili. I'm just going to add a bit of salt to kind of bring out the flavours. Um, and that, I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to add the chicken in. And the juices from the chicken, really important. And just, we're going to just stir that through so that the chicken has a chance to warm up. And go off the heat, we're good to serve. Chicken bindaloo.